Hello Taurus, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is your weekly tarot forecast. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, especially if this reading resonates with you, and that way you won't miss any of the future readings that we do for you, for your weekly predictions. Let's get into it. What is the message coming through for Taurus? First card is that death card. Okay, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Let's put that into some context. And uh, we're going to do a mystery card, a confirmation card, bonus card. We're going to leave that right over here. We're not going to look at that until the very end, so stick around. And hopefully that will tie the reading together or, you know, give us that confirmation that we're looking for at the very end. So we see a lot of cards here today, a lot of interesting energy. So first we're going to start with this death card. I think the death card here in this context as the very first card this is telling me that this week is really going to be about starting over for you. There's something in your life going on that you you feel you need to just kind of hit the reset button, just start over, just like just wipe the slate clean and do it again. Okay? Like you need a do-over, like a mulligan. Okay. And we're gonna see if we can get to the bottom of what this situation might be. I'll tell you right now, I see. You know, I see some water cards here, so this is definitely a situation that you feel very strongly about. Something that affects your emotions, something that affects your your kind of spiritual connection with people or with, with your environment, right? So, first of all, hitting the reset button, okay? I think that you are, you've been working to build something, and it just seems like it's just not working. So it's kind of like a back to the drawing board kind of situation. And we also see the Hermit card. So these two major arcana cards, heavyweight cards here. Hitting the reset button, I think you need to, um, you need to kind of withdraw from the situation and start over. You need to go back to basics. You need to go back to uh, square one, right? You need to start over. You need to hit that reset button. And I think that's going to involve some more planning, some more meditation, some more insight, some more discernment, some more looking for your inner light, connecting with yourself again, connecting maybe with the reason why you're doing this in the first place, right? What is this all about? What is this thing that you're doing? And why are you doing it? What is that connection that you have? What is that spiritual connection? And that's where the hermit comes into play. The hermit's going to turn away from the situation temporarily to find that inner light again. Find the purpose, find the reason, find the source of all of this, and then start again. Okay, so that death card, not an ominous card, not an evil card, not a dangerous card. Nothing harmful is coming your way. This is about starting over from scratch, starting again. It's like you're getting an opportunity to start over. And that I think is a wonderful thing. It's going to take a little bit of effort. It's going to take some of this hermit energy for now. Turn back within yourself. Find out what it is that you're trying to do, why you're trying to do it, right? Reconnect with that, with that emotion, with that impulse, with that kind of spiritual calling, that purpose, that inner light. That was the reason why you started this in the first place. Right? Whatever this, whatever this may be, um, we see in the recent past that things, yeah, things have kind of gone sour. Things have just become a kind of disgusting mess. Right? With the Seven of Cups here, this is just decay. Things have just kind of been dying on the vine. Things are just kind of rotting, and it's just kind of a messy, kind of gross-looking card, right? And I think this is, you know, this is the reason why we have this reset, why we have this impulse to start over this week. Things just didn't work out right. Things just kind of um, just decayed. It wasn't, it didn't work out, right? Things have kind of uh, just gone sour. Things have kind of rotted. There's just been some decay there. And I know I'm using all of these kind of, you know, disgusting words, but that's kind of the, the putrefaction that we're talking about, where things have to... Uh, things have to decay and just kind of like liquefy, right, in order for there to be that transformation, you know, like a, like a, a butterfly or a, a, 
like a caterpillar and a chrysalis or something where there has to be this this phase of things and i don't think that i don't think that you invoked this i don't think this was part of the plan but the fact that things are are not working out that things have reached this this stage of of decay and um I don't want to say failure, like I kept wanting to say failure, but I don't, I don't know that it's a failure situation. I just think that this didn't blossom the way you thought it would, right? This doesn't look right. So now you're going to wipe the slate clean and start over, okay? Um, and that's where we get this hermit and this death card energy coming into play. And now the beautiful thing about it is in the near future, we get this six of cups. So this is the beauty, the harmony, the blossoming that you really wanted to have. Okay, so the, the first attempt didn't look right, kind of looks like crap, right? The next time, you're going to hit that reset button, you're going to start over, and you're going to succeed. It's going to be this six of cups, this beauty, this harmony, this blossoming, this emotional fulfillment, joy. It's going to be everything that you, that you meant to do. This first, first attempt, a good attempt, but I just don't think it was, I don't think it was there. Right? I think it, it didn't turn out right, whatever it was. you know, We can use any sort of analogy here. We use the, the caterpillar and, and the chrysalis kind of thing, but this could be you know, you're know, you trying to bake something in the oven. You think you got all the ingredients right, you've measured everything, but it comes out looking like that. No, you're gonna wash the dishes, clean out the oven, you're gonna start over. And now this next time, you're gonna have this beautiful result. Okay, beautiful, harmonious, joyous, just satisfying, fulfilling result, okay? So we're going from the Seven of Cups. Nope, that didn't work. Start over, hit the reset button, reconnect, reflect on the situation, right? The Hermit card, reflect on what you may have done wrong this first time, and now you're gonna get it right, all right? And now the, uh, the vertical axis of the Path of the Duff here shows a lot of fire. Now, first we have, as the kind of nutshell card, we have a five, of wands, right? Strife, struggle, battle, fighting. I think maybe this is showing that in this first attempt, in this this previous incarnation of this project or whatever this thing is, um, there was too much struggle involved. You were trying to force things too much. Does that make sense? If this is resonating with you, please leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. It feels like there was too much force, too much fighting involved this first time. Like you're trying to force it, right? And then we also see at the bottom of this, this axis of the path here, we see a 10 of wands. This is oppression. This is so much of that fiery energy that it's just keeping everything down. It's weighing everything down. It's too much of something, right? So I think, first of all, you were trying to force it. And then second of all, second of all you, were, you were trying to force it using too much of something. So we could go back to the, you know, the baking analogy if we wanted to. And there was just, there was too much of some ingredient. Maybe too much heat. Too much heat ruined this, this thing. But that's okay, because that's how we learn. And that's why we have these two major arcana cards, right? So this is like, the universe is giving you a do-over. You got to take advantage of it and learn from your mistakes. Figure out using this hermit energy, figure out what you did wrong the first time, right? Reflect on what you could do differently now. And I think, I think these two are really what you need to, to focus on um, correcting this time around, right? Don't force it and don't put too much of something in there that doesn't belong. Okay. And again, I don't, I don't know what this project is. I don't know what we're even talking about here. I'm just the conduit for this energy, for these messages, okay? And if you want to share, leave a comment. Let us know what is this project? What is, what is this thing that you're, that you're doing? But I do know that you've been trying to force it and you've been putting in too much of this certain type of energy, too much of this one ingredient, okay? But, you know, like I said, the immediate future is great success, harmony, beauty, six of cups, just perfect symmetry, perfect connection, perfect harmony. It's really gonna be a lovely outcome, all right? Now, moving over to the path of the serpent, 
we see a couple of other people involved here. I think that there are, we're going to just do two, we're going to do both of these cards at the same time. These are two uh, court cards from the suit of swords. We have the knight of swords and the princess of swords. And I think that this might be uh, a couple of very opinionated people in your life that are involved here. This could be either one or two people who are trying to tell you what to do and how to do it, right? They're trying to influence your project, your choices, decisions, your behaviors, your, they're trying to really tell you how to, how to make this, right? They're just, you know, just another, another cook in the kitchen, right? Too many cooks in the kitchen. We've heard that before. And I think these are either one or two of these air sign people. They may not be air sign people. They may not have that astrological placement. I think they have strong air somewhere in their astrological chart, but that doesn't really matter. The point is that they are uh, interjecting. They are trying to give you their opinions, their advice, their instructions, right when you're in, you're in the kitchen trying to do this work and they are trying to tell you what to do. No, don't do that, a little more of this. Why are you doing that? And it's, it's chaotic, it's hectic. And I think these people need to be ignored. You need to ask them politely to shut up so that you can focus and you can do this, this work yourself, right? So that this is one or more people in your ear trying to tell you how to do this thing, all right? And again, they may be air sign people, they may not be air sign people. Now, in terms of what it is that you're doing or who you're doing it for or why you're doing it, it may be a work thing. We have this justice or adjustment card. This is usually telling me that there's some obligation involved here. It could be, um, it could be you're under contract to do this. Maybe this is your business. Someone hired you to do this. There's some kind of a, a legal bond, a legal agreement some sort of commitment involved here at the basis of this, right? So it could be, could be a work thing. It could be something, it could be your own business that you're under contract to do this. You've been hired to do this, or you've just, you've agreed to it. You've promised someone, you've made that commitment, right? In some, some form or fashion. And then finally, we have at the end of the path of the serpent, we have an eight of cups, all right? Eight of Cups is a, a lack of, of emotional connection with something. This is uh, feeling a bit disinterested in things, right? Feeling like um, you just don't care anymore. You just don't want to try any further, right? And I think that this is a very important card, especially in this context, because Coming off of this Seven of Cups, I think it's very easy to go right into an Eight of Cups and just say, I don't even care anymore. I'm not interested. It didn't work. It looks like this. I don't, I don't even want to try again. Okay. And so this is kind of that energy that threatens to just abandon the whole project in general. Just, I'm, I don't even care. All right. But you are going to have to yield to this intense energy that is kind of taking matters out of your own hands and saying, no, look, just stop what you're doing. Hit the reset button, turn around, go home, think about it, spend some time reflecting on the situation, reconnect with your purpose, why you're doing this, right? That spiritual impulse again, reconnect with that emotional aspect of it and start over. Before it gets to this point where you just don't give a shit anymore and you don't wanna do it, you don't try, you have no interest, don't let it get to this point. You have to yield to these two, okay? That's a very, very important message, I feel. Now we're gonna take a look at this confirmation card, this mystery card, bonus card. Um, what could this possibly be? I think, I think the, the options are endless. Well, there's that three of wands. This is that, that purpose. This is uh, reconnecting. This is you reconnecting with your purpose, with the spiritual, emotional uh, connection and purpose and this ideal and this resolve that you have. This is the reason why you're doing this in general. This is that, that spiritual source, that spiritual impulse, right? Could be that you're under contract to do it. You've agreed to it. Yeah, whatever. But you have to have this, this spiritual connection to it. 
And that's what we've been talking about with this Hermit card, is turning inward to find this. And now this is our confirmation card. This is our mystery card. You're going to find that connection to this work that you're doing, and you're going you're gonna to find that inner light again. And this is going to give you the energy and enthusiasm and confidence to do this again and get it right. All right. So thank you so much for letting me read for you today. We're going to take a quick look in the extended. You can become a member to the channel by clicking on the link down in the description box. This was your weekly tarot forecast on Dove and Serpent Tarot.